Kia ora everyone, I'm going to go over how to calculate embodied carbon um, using Grasshopper um, and just a way of getting an overall total amount of embodied carbon. So here, um, this is a, a wee calculator that I've made that you can use. Uh, so the green group is just the geometry um, and I'll show some examples of how to bring in uh, the geometry shortly um, and then we take the volume of that uh, here I'm adding up multiple volumes um, and just bringing them together that's one way of doing it uh, for the same material and then I've got a materials list here uh, and this is the sort of embodied carbon factor um, that we can select from uh, and I'll explain where I've got that from because it, it, it there's not a lot of information in the calculator as such so I'll just switch over to uh, Excel where um, Brands, the Building Research Association of New Zealand, have put together a really good uh, material list um, of uh, embodied carbon numbers for a whole lot of different materials. So if we just go jump, you can see a whole lot of different types of uh, concrete and, and there, um, and then there's a whole lot of other materials. I've gone through and uh, just pulled out some sort of generic ones that we can use. Um, the brands gives the information in the embodied carbon uh, per, in this case, kg. Um, and so I've added a density. Um, so then we have the material factor, uh, which is the embodied carbon per cubic meter. Um, so what I've done, if we go back to here in this list um, which I've made and if you want you can make your own. So that's under params and input uh, here. So um, this value list. Uh, if we right click and go edit, I've just put in timber and then taken the number from that spreadsheet 305 minus 305, concrete 672, glass and steel. So you can see steel has a very high embodied carbon per cubic meter, which is a, a lot of steel. So, uh, so you can see here I've just got three simple cubes basically so if we just pull this across so three simple cubes uh, to the stage two what have we got two timber and one concrete um, and so this is really helpful because we can then start to, to see uh, if we had them all timber would be minus 900 so we're actually sequestering carbon and then if we had the two concrete you could see um, we're using a lot more or admitting a lot more carbon so that's the little value list then we just multiply the volume that we have of that particular material and we tell it what material so that's giving us the number and then we're adding all those if we have a whole lot uh, and then we combine those and then we've got uh, the just the units at the end so um, kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent and that's just adding the number with that piece of text at the end so you can see um, also then if we decide to change the height of one of these so the volume you can see how much that goes up um, so it becomes a really great tool for just sort of checking how much embodied carbon you may be producing uh, and if you have a whole lot that you want to bring in so we can come in here and I'll just move this out of the way um, 
so I had this one before, so let's just zoom extents and set this to, oh, to there. So we've got all of this structure. So we might want to bring all of this in. Um, it's just a little structure. Uh, so if we bring in, oh, don't do that, uh, bring in a B rep and select and then set multiple values. So I'm just going to bring it all in in one go. So I can select all that, push return. Now I can feed this into geometry. Uh, it takes a little bit to calculate. Um, let's just pull this back. And at the moment that's concrete. So you can see we have a very large number. If we change that to timber, we have a very big negative number. So the, the value in sort of understanding um, the embodied carbon of the materials that you're using. And if you want, you can add more onto here and run it through these sort of pieces. So this, um, also what's quite good is just to check on these. So I'll just create a panel. So you can just sort of check as you're going how much is, is coming out at each stage. So that's why I've put these little bits in, um, just to, to allow us to, to see what's going on. So I hope that helps.